looks like the siphon is just starting up. It's kind of dull to watch, but the yarn is very exciting. All that is, is a one inch pipe, one inch elbow, one inch pipe, one inch to three quarter inch elbow. It's been working perfectly for about two weeks now. With no problems. So I started the video just about the time the pump started. And so let's evacuate in the entire upper bed and start to the air. Finishing off now. Something the entire bed in about a minute. Almost. Siphon will break. There it goes, right there. Okay. So, up on top here, I've got some lettuce growing. You can see some of the uh, rock wool there. That's lettuce and rock wool. There's a bok choy that I've actually been drawing, drawing outside. I transplanted it. it. It's loving this environment. The red lettuce back there. My input. And there you can see my bell siphon. It's very simple. Nothing unusual about it. Lift two. I put the cap in there just to kind of reduce some of the algae. Over on this side, I've actually got a floating bed. The lettuce in the floating bed is uh, a little bit older than the lettuce in the flood and drain. Let's see my water drain there. Keep that covered up to reduce the algae. There's a bok choy. There's a basil that I actually planted in that spot. And in two weeks, it went from seed to this. So, pretty exciting. Uh, one of these days I'll do a uh, video on my light kit, DIY light kit, about $20 a piece plus the bulbs. That's the expensive part. I do keep track of the pH daily, and I monitor the TDS. Typically it's running about um, 6.4 pH and TDS about 250. So back down to the bottom, if there's enough light, you can see some of the finish. So I would say that Troll Garden 3.0 is in good shape. Here's my slow filter. Here's the only pump in the whole system. So we're back up and give you a wide shot here. I'm pretty pleased. So I'd love to hear some comments and uh, go ahead and let me know what you think. Okay.